This work really, I feel, has a lot of relevance for me personally because of this idea of really wondering what it means to have a relationship with a higher power, how I interact with the God that I believe in, how submissive I am, how open I am to actually making spiritual life a connected conversation um, and maybe considering that in ways that I haven't before. My name is Ashley Whitaker. I am the Roy and Carol Christensen Curator of Religious Art at the BYU Museum of Art. I first encountered this work in 2013 and it really drew me in. I found it to be so compelling. One thing I really love about Royal's work and one thing that stands out to me in prayer, this painting right here, is that he is never giving us a set narrative with answers. Royal describes that he was contemplating this question of how much control do we have in our life? How much of the aspect of prayer, of our relationship with the divine, is a balance of the control that we as humans try to assert into our lives, that perhaps through our prayers and through our efforts, we're trying to manipulate or order the outcome of events in our lives and perhaps what we see as what we want versus a relationship with a divine who knows what we need. And so in this painting, you see that this boy is kneeling here. However, on the top of this surface is a train. And this figure, this boy, is seemingly manipulating this train. He's trying to order its direction. It's interesting to me as I've looked at this that the cars on the trains don't appear to be closely connected and that there's no track on the train. And yet there is a very definite sense of a boundary around him through this black. Again, coming back to this conversation, how in our interactions with faith and the divine do we allow our perspective um, to be transcended? How can we release ourselves from perhaps a myopic or a limited view of possibilities or circumstance? Oftentimes in life, it can be really challenging to face seasons of decision-making, to wonder where the trajectory of our life is going, to question the potential uncertainty of a moment. And with Royal's work, he has repeatedly invited me into a sense of uncertainty in his work, which oftentimes is not the most comfortable place for us to be. But I love how rich and rewarding that uncertainty has become for me, both with this work and then the questions it invites about the uncertainty of life and how we can reconsider where we're trusting as we navigate these things. Are we trying too hard to order our life or are we truly striving for a balance of letting ourselves be led in ways that are maybe uncomfortable, maybe joyful, maybe spontaneous, maybe more deliberate, but that feel that we are working in tandem with truth within ourselves and the higher power. And I really love that. I love that I come back to this work again and again, and over seasons, it invites new thoughts, a new awareness within me where I am now with these kinds of questions versus where I was in 2013 when I first saw this work.